Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we set class path to access the Oracle driver. So for accessing Oracle driver, you must know the Oracle version you are using. So if you are using Oracle 10G, then you must have OJDBC 14.jar file. Then if you are using Oracle 12C, then you must have OJDBC 7.jar. If you are using Oracle 19C, then you must have OJDBC 8. So you must know the your version you are using. So if you want to download these files, so what you can do is you can go to the mvnrepository.com. So this is mvnrepository.com. So here I am using OJDBC 8 means Oracle 19C. So I have to download this OJDBC 8. So type here OJDBC 8 and click on search. So after that you can see here are the results. In this result see the usage the maximum are the usage that we have to select so i am clicking here ojdbc8 then after that here also we can see maximum usage this is the maximum usage 36 times so click on here so after that here we can see jar file so click on here so it will download the jar file so here we can see ojdbc8 jar file is downloaded the next one what we have to do is search for this PC after searching right click on this and go to the properties so in the properties section we can see here advanced system settings so here we can see advanced system settings this is advanced system setting so click on this advanced system settings then we will get this system properties so click on environment variables environment variables after that you can see here environment variables in this we can see here system variables in this go to the class path so this is class path if you don't have a class path right click new and in in this variable name type c c l a w s p a t h class path and variable value will be what will the variable value the value variable value will be the jar file class path so let's see the jar file class path so for the class path we have to the go to the location where you downloaded so after downloading i have stored the jar file in the f drive so this is my jar file you can go to the location where you have this in the download folder ojdbc8 whatever jar you are so what we can do here is in this we can see right click on this in the in this and uh, f colon slash here i will write ojdbc so here we can see this is our class path copy this this is my path this is the path of the jar file this is very important because this is the main thing in this so here we can see system properties in the class path we have to paste this i have already variable name called class path so i am not doing it what i am doing is class path then edit edit then I will new create on new I 
I will paste here a class path then move upward ok click on ok so click on ok after this click on ok so we have successfully set the class path to access the oracle driver now we can see so to check the our driver is working or not I have written here a JDBC program you will find the link of the video in the description if you want the explanation of this video this code so I have written here this is connection object to create a connection between Java application and database this is the URL this is the username and password then statement object then query then we have to execute the query this is a select query so let's see this is working or not so I will compile this code Java C college dot Java Java college so this is working this is the table EMP 50 I have created in the Oracle database and I am selecting the this is the query select star from employee 50 so this will give the result set so one by one I am fetching the results and this is output we get this output if we successfully set up the jar file in the class path so according to the versions of oracle first of all we have to download the this jar file then after this this is the path we have to copy and paste in the environment variables in the class path so this is the way we can set the class path to access the oracle driver